a program like this has definitely helped me because you're put out of your comfort zone a lot. Facing that discomfort, not that it wasn't a great experience, not that I haven't had like really great experiences on workout days and wonderful workouts and all that, but I feel like repeatedly facing challenges or like doing things that maybe wouldn't push yourself to do like on your own has definitely helped me become a much more resilient person and I feel like I know not to underestimate myself or even like underestimate other people because there are definitely a lot of people on this team who always put in the work, they always show up, they always work super super hard and it really impresses me even if they're not in like group A or like the you know varsity level. There are so many really impressive and just very admirable people on this team and so I feel like being in that environment has been super valuable because you rarely see someone in who's like not putting in their best effort and so everyone deserves to be out here and everyone deserves to be improving themselves and making themselves better and so I feel like that experience has been really really great. I was coming from Stanley Middle School and my entire friend group was going to Akalani's and so my mom knowing some people from uh, Moraga because she's a teacher at Reem Elementary, people were telling her that she needs to join a sport um, that starts in the summer so that you can have um, friends going into <laughs> freshman year. I showed up in the summer because um, my brother Charlie Voidot did it and I saw how he made a bunch of friends and I was like, oh, he can do it. I can make friends. And so I went over the summer. The options presented to me were cross country, volleyball, golf, or tennis. And the other three sports were all cut sports that you kind of had to like know what you were doing. I was not any of those kinds of athletes, and I like hadn't golfed, I wasn't a volleyball player. So cross country was the option left for me, and I was thinking, you know, running, it's not really my thing, but um, I can run, like that's something I can do. And so I came out the first Monday of summer practice um, going into my freshman year and I think there was like one other girl there that I did not know um, who like did not last through the summer. I don't know if I remember the first day of practice but I remember the first day of summer pretty, pretty vividly. I remember my first practice quite vividly. It was only like an out and back recovery run on Moraga Road, something pretty standard. But for me it was like the hardest thing I'd ever done. I think I saw Paloma Hancock and I was like, oh, she looks kind of young. Like, I could probably run with her. And that was a huge mistake. And I quickly got left behind. And I think Jeff came and found me. And I kept trying to walk on the way back. My very first practice, I remember I joined cross country with a couple of my friends that I had been running with since middle school. And I decided that I wanted to keep up with them on the warm up. We had a 20 minute warm up run. Um, and then it was awful and very difficult and I was dying the whole time and after that run I realized we had a workout. It was the King Canyon Trail and I ran out and I was feeling kind of good and then I got really really tired and I was with Ali Lee who was a sophomore at the time. I was like I'm sorry but are we able to turn back? It's very hilly and it's, it's we were doing a 70 minute long run and it was like 80 or 90 degrees, you know, pretty pretty darn hot. We started at four, um, and I ran my fastest Kings Canyon loop to date. I've never run faster than I did that day as a freshman. I ran seven flat pace around the loop, and after I wanted to vomit, um, and I did it with Andrew Sang, and he, he was an incoming senior, and so I, got, I was talking to him through very heavy breathing. And I honestly could not move my legs whatsoever. They were in so much pain, I couldn't even walk. I was like hobbling back to the finish, and I got home and my mom and dad were like, you're sheet white, are you sure you want to do this? I was like, yes, I really like the people already. 
and I want to commit to something. I kept coming back throughout the summer and I met more and more friends. Um, I met Katie Strohmeyer, I met Jesse, I met Sydney. Those guys were the most, you know, serious group of people I'd met, you know, serious about running people I'd met up until that point. I felt like I, you know, a total outcast being serious about running when everybody you know, didn't seem to care, especially in middle school. And um, being there was like, felt like a, there was some sort of like psychological like click and I felt um, much more comfortable in my own skin and very happy to be there. I remember during the warm up, I would do the exercises and after each one, my line leader, who was a senior at the time, told me that I did a good job or gave me advice on how to better do the exercise. And you know, I was just some random freshman who wasn't very good at running or anything like that. And already, I was kind of building relationships with the other people there. You know, I could just do, I would get through that first cross country season and I wouldn't really have to do it again because I would do softball in the spring <laughs> and then I would have friends and then I wouldn't have to do it again. Um, but over the summer, I first met Gracie Woydot and when I started doing some uh, runs with her, I really felt like I was a part of the team. People were extremely welcoming. All the senior girls like really wanted me to come back every day and be a part of the team. And so I definitely was really excited in the fall when I like felt like I had a lot of experience. I, you definitely have to earn it, and we, we earn it, you know, going to practice six days a week, never missing practice, things like that. I felt myself improve, and I became closer with the people on the team. It's just been a great experience overall. I think what's a really cool thing about this program is that even through freshman year, I knew that I was like not going to be like that varsity runner, but I knew that I could have a leadership role on the team. And I really like wanted to do that even from my freshman year, knowing that like Bella Chow and Jesse Foxworthy were people that even though they like they were really good runners and good leaders. Like I knew that like I could fill that role and I also wanted to fill a role of someone in leadership who really cared about the team that wasn't necessarily that varsity runner because most people aren't varsity runners on the team. There can only be seven, <laughs> seven girls and seven boys. The vast majority of people aren't gonna be those runners and so I wanted to be someone who could be a leader for that type of runner. Not everyone has to be the leader who like calls out the warm up exercises or like the group has to follow them exactly or anything like that. There's a lot of different ways that you can help people out and mentor them and just make them feel really welcome on the team. I think that that was definitely what I prioritized because I had um, a lot of freshmen in my group over the summer and with COVID that whole program felt very uncertain and a lot of kids were definitely more uneasy than in previous years. And so I wanted that summer camp to be something that they would look forward to and to be like a highlight of their day. And so I guess I made my leadership style more like, like I prioritized welcoming them and making it more fun and making sure that they were comfortable and knew that no matter how far or long that they ran that day, that they were totally welcome on the team and that everyone wanted them to be there and to participate. Definitely, I just find myself surprised at how invested I am in the team, even you know, much more than my own individual performances. I think before I was part of this team, I was very inwardly focused to my own detriment, and I, I think that it made me a you know a less happy person and less fulfilled in my you know life. And I think being a part of the team, like even from a selfish perspective, was something really um, good for me, and I, I loved it. And I don't, I don't think I'd ever. I don't think I'd ever picture myself becoming such a team-oriented person, so excited about, just so excited about a collective. And I think that has really changed my outlook on life. I think that to be happy, you have to be a part of something larger than yourself, especially when that's something, when everyone's working towards the, you know, some sort of common goal or some common good. So I think like, you know, having like-minded individuals is really important. <laughs> so I'm really grateful. What I've always loved 
about cross country and the track team have been the people and they're the most hardworking people I've ever met in my life and a great group. And it's honestly really inspiring to me like during a workout or a race to just turn and see everyone else working as hard as they can and me knowing I'm working as hard as I can and just knowing we're all putting in this collective effort at the end. We're all going through the same pain and hardships and our muscles are aching and we're really tired but at the same time we're all in it together. 26, 27, 28, 29. I believe that helps inspire the the top seven who are running at state as much as they inspire us.